Okay, we have an Acer Aspira, what is it? Let me have a look on this one, a piece of paper. Some Acer Aspira V3-574 with, uh, we believe, a Duff battery. So we had it back from our department, thinking we'd get into it. So we flipped it over, and ta -da! no battery. Well, there is, but it's internally. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to get to the battery. So undo this in the middle. See that one first, and this is all the all the screws are the same size. They're all that size. So put them to one side, and then oh, that's done it. The CD-ROM not popped out. There we go. Looks like someone's been fiddling with that one. There we go. And then along the side here, if you look, I'm just doing it first so you can see. Don't forget those, they've got to come out as well. So, so I lied when the screws are all the same size, apart from those three. Here's my fat hands. Okay. And then you want to start now making out every single key. That's every key, every single screw has to come out. So if we just pause it there, and okay, I'll go every single we'll get to okay, the last. every single screw out. But those are the things on the side at the back. I've got to get them all out, every single one of them. It's actually quite an easy fix, this is. Uh, you can get to the battery, you can also get to the memory, and you can also get to the hard drive all in one file sweep. So if you wanted to change it for an SSD drive, which is really will knock the speed, unless it's got an SSD in it, I'm not too sure, we'll have a look when we open it up. How I do now, I flip it over in a second, and I start from this part, and you have to then depart, you have to separate the base from the main part. So back in a sec. Okay, all I've done is just turn it over and it's already started, look, you can see here, on that corner. So I'll wait till my cameraman comes back and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so all you do is, all I do is just push this down where the, where the CD-ROM was, which is quite loose now. Just gently ease. And just, see, it's that simple. I have not prized this, this is what it comes like. So just gently, gently it's so simple this one all the way around and there should be if you just flip up ah have we left one in there oh no no this is where all right i'm going to flip it over come this way because we need to oh, i'm stuck oh, there we go just very very gently and there's two leads connected to this okay so just carefully you see this one here you got him so you just want to prise him forward a bit with your with the thumb that's it and then that's it that's just the one on there and then here's your battery there you go so to get your battery out it must be one of the most easiest job so you just pull the lead they're all marked with a little dot so they only they can only go in one way round anyway and uh, that's your battery it's not a very substantial <laughs> battery is it to power these but um yeah. so this is just the usb port and it just lifted off that's all you gotta do just pop, pop back on that's it because your case pulls that off so there you go memory replace Hard drive, I think that's pretty straightforward with that one. You just push it forward, take the hard drive out. It's standard hard drive. I would replace this with an SSD if it was mine, and then push these back into the SSD. They all fit, bring it back into play, and push it back home. Same with the memory, just these two clips here. You'd pull backwards on these. Can you see that? They spring back. So you'd slide your memory and push it down. I'll show you on this one. 
So there you go. So it comes up. You'd either put a bigger stick in there. This is an 8 gig, so you wouldn't. You'd put another 8 this side if you wanted it. And push it home. And that's it. And really, that's it. That's your battery as well. Same with your senior ROM. You, you saw how I did that. You take that back out. And then it's, it's in theory, it's reverse. So what you do is you put your, as you get it, as you can see, the touch the terminals underneath. Can you see them? Yep. They go on the bottom. So you push them in like that. Excuse me, big fingers in the way again. Line it up. Push it home. So you put your battery back in. You put your memory back in. You bring your case over. And it's going that way, I think. Let's have a look. That's it. So there's that little that little bit there. So you pop him in there. Like that. Then he goes in one way round. Uh, let me bring this round to me. Make it easier. We haven't got the batteries yet, so that's just why I'm just showing you a demo. So this is coming. Sorry James, a bit awkward with the camera. So bring that down. This is when you want really small fingers. But just to show you, put them in. Okay, it just sits like that. Line your case back up. You've got a USB this end, so you want to push them in like that. <laughs> that's, that's it. That is, that's how simple it is. Pop your screws back in. Line everything up, push them down home, there you go. Thanks for watching, thumbs up, like and subscribe, that would be great. Cheers.